Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the structure of a nerve. Uh, so to start with, what is a nerve? A nerve is a collection of nerve fibers or axons that is located in the peripheral nervous system. Um, so to clarify, a nerve cell is a neuron that's a single cell, and a nerve is a collection of axons that are projected from many different cells. Um, each nerve is an organ. Uh, so as a reminder, an organ is a, any collection of tissues to form a structure that, that works together to serve a function. So a nerve, because it's made up of multiple types of tissue, uh, that makes each nerve its own organ. Uh, nerves can be cranial nerves or spinal nerves. Cranial nerves are nerves that emerge from the brain. Um, each cranial nerve could be a sensory nerve, a motor nerve, or a mixed nerve, meaning that it can be both, so sensory and motor. All spinal nerves are nerves that emerge from the spinal cord, and they are all mixed, meaning that they have both sensory and motor function. Uh, so the organization of a nerve. Uh, so a nerve is made up of axons. So we have individual nerve fibers that are projecting from the cell bodies of neurons. Each one is an axon. Um, so if we look at our picture here, that's what we're seeing down below. So a single axon. Then if we have bundles of several axons, we bundle them all together and that forms a fossicle. So a fossicle is a bundle of axons. Then if we group several bundles of axons, so several fossicles, then we have a whole nerve. So depending on the size of the nerve, we might have only a handful of fossicles, or we could have many, many, many fossicles made up of thousands of axons. Uh, then each of those levels of organization are covered by connective tissue coverings. So the endoneurium is the connective tissue covering of an individual axon. Um, so the endoneurium is outside of the myelination for uh, axons that are myelinated. So it's surrounding the outside of the myelination. Then we have our fossicle, so our bundle of axons, and we have the perineurium, that's the connective tissue covering of a fossicle. Then we group together multiple fossicles to make up the whole nerve. And we have the epineurium, that's the connective tissue covering that is wrapping around the entire nerve. Uh, so I wanna to touch on briefly the blood supply to a nerve. Uh, so nerves require continuous blood supply or they lose function, the tissue will actually die. Uh, so nerves contain abundant capillaries, blood capillaries, um, so that the blood can be delivered to the neuron. Um, and those capillaries not only uh, deliver blood, but they also store blood inside of the nerve so that we can maintain that continuous blood supply. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for watching.